Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I am here with an awesome new Raspberry Pi accessory board from Matrix Labs which is focused on sound driven behaviors and IoT applications. I pre-ordered this a few months back and finally got my hands on it. Since it is a new member of the Raspberry Pi family, I decided to make a quick unboxing video and introduce you to this board before starting the tutorials. Ok, let's start. This is the package. Let us open it. Here we have the instruction manual. And this is our board. Matrix Voice. As I said earlier, this is the development board mainly focusing on voice driven and IoT projects. So the build is really light and compact. The diameter of this board is only 3.14 inches and weighs around 50 grams. This board is based on Spartan 6 FPGA with a 64MB 132MHz SD RAM and another 64MB as flash memory. It has a radial array of 18 RGBW LEDs and 8 MEMS microphones, 7 distributed around the perimeter and one at the center. It also has space here at the center to mount the standard Raspberry Pi camera. And here we have 40 pin connector. This is where we connect our Raspberry Pi. There are two versions of Matrix Voice available. The board with ESP32 Wi-Fi Bluetooth chipset and one without it. The Matrix Voice in my hand is the one with ESP32 which enables easy wireless connectivity between Matrix devices as well as other devices. Uh, for stable operation, you can use a 5V DC adapter with a minimum of 2.5 amps. This board can be used with Raspberry Pi as an accessory or as a standalone device with ESP32 microcontroller version. The 8 mems microphone array on Matrix Voice allows you to include voice recognition in your project by using the latest online voice services including Amazon Alexa, Google Speech API, Wit.ai and Houndify. You can easily trigger events based on sound detections using IFTTT. The creators of this board have also made things easy for developers by including their own Matrix OS on the board which allows developers to build hardware applications for the board only using a few lines of code in Java, Python or C++. You will find detailed instructions on setting up Raspberry Pi with Matrix device and awesome project tutorials right here on our blog. If you have any questions you can ask it in the comments. Ok guys thanks for watching, Roadset signing off.